Ever since I was 16 years old, I was convinced that I was gonna get my driver's license. I had a 1970 Mustang that I had rebuilt with my dad. And it was my dream to be able to drive that car on my 16th birthday, go pick up all the pretty girls at my high school, go on dates, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I had to kind of come to the realization that that wasn't going to happen for me. I was born with a congenital disorder called nystagmus that basically means that I'm not able to focus on what I see the same way that other people are. My eyes actually vibrate just a tiny little bit. Sometimes it's noticeable, sometimes it's not. And when they move back and forth like that, they're not able to create a focal point. And as a result, I'm legally blind. So whenever I graduated college, I did what everybody else would do, and I went and competed on American Ninja Warrior. And that gave me a really cool opportunity to share with the world my story and tell everybody about how what I wanted to do when I grow up is build a car that can drive for me and that can drive for other people and provide a safe and reliable transportation system that will change the world. Literally 30 seconds after my run airs, uh, my inbox on LinkedIn has a message from Scott Ferris, the Chief Business Officer at Luminar Technologies. I was able to find him on LinkedIn, um, and before his clip actually finished, I had actually sent him an email on LinkedIn uh, wanting to have a conversation with him. Uh, and I heard from him the next day, and I think three or four weeks later, uh, upon graduation, uh, Nico was working here in an important, important part of our team. So every day we are crafting the future of photonics here at Luminar. Our LiDAR system actually works kind of similar to a human eye and brain combination, right? So we send lasers out into the environment and we have a right eye and a left eye that basically receive those lasers back. So they go out and they bounce off of things in the environment like a car, a tree, a person, whatever it may be. And then it comes back into our sensor to either the right or the left eye. And then we do that about a million times. So we're collecting tons and tons of information. And when you put that all together, you get a three-dimensional image just the same way as a human eye would see with its right eye and its left eye. And you're able to make driving decisions, know what objects are what. You're able to identify a car from a person and you're able to do it in real time, which is the key element to being able to drive a car with a computer and not a human. Luminar is based out of Silicon Valley, right next to Apple and Facebook and all of the other high-end tech companies. But when it came to manufacturing and actually sitting down and figuring out how are we going to build lots of these, we decided on Orlando as the best location for doing that because we have things like Lockheed Martin, we have Siemens, and we have NASA really close by as well. So when you combine that with everybody coming out of one of the largest universities in the world, University of Central Florida, the talent pool here is just unmatched. And so we have some of the smartest individuals that I've ever met in my entire life working right here in Orlando to make this dream a reality. I wasn't one of the smart people who designed our crazy awesome LiDAR sensor, but I am one of the people who is responsible for figuring out how we make thousands and thousands and thousands of these units. That's the only point in which photonics is really going to make a difference on everybody's day-to-day -day lives is when it's cheap enough that everybody can have access to it. What this means to me is that I will finally be able to have a mode of transportation that is reliable, uh, that doesn't rely on humans. I decided that I wanted to stop trying to get my driver's license and that I wanted to build something that would be safer for not just me, but for everybody in the world.